Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice, the Remastered Trilogy. My name is Apollo's Buyer, this is your Soybeans Gaming Channel, and today, today we start case 4 4. Let's not waste any time. Let's do this, my friends. Episode 4, Turnabout Secession. Hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day today. And that is the whole truth of this case. Mason system. Is that a gunshot? In order to understand it myself, I had to know the story of these last seven long years. Oh, we're finally getting, we're finally getting getting into this. First case, well, no, not the first, but you know, second case. Nothing happens to chance. All is connected. No, that is the first case. What am I saying? What is that? And now, you stand ready to begin the final chapter of this story. What is going on here with this intro? Will the defendant be found guilty or innocent? The decision is yours. Where to begin with that? October 7th, 1037 AM. Write anything agency. Hey Apollo, look on TV. Look, look. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of busy. Whoa, look at that. It's the last grammary, right? Amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, th that one picture with the three guys in capes. I will say that did remind me of grammary because uh, Valent had a cape like that, and she has a cape like that. So is this a story about her father? Apollo, you should be watching this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I got distracted. Ow, ow, ow. What? What? I was writing about our last case in my journal. Lawyers are supposed to write things in records, Apollo, not journals. And why now? That case was three months ago. Hey, it's a long story. I did a lot, you know. I want to vacuum pack the feel for the moment for later. Right now, I'm vowing the, vowing the crowd by figuring out how Lemuroi disappeared. That's right, Uncle Valet did that illusion too? But you're missing him on TV right now. Uh, I was just getting to the good part. I suppose I should watch the little TV with her. After all, her father's expecting me to look after her while he's away. What you're seeing you now is a rehearsal for the greatest magic show on Earth! Happening right here at our very own Sunshine Coliseum! The Sunshine Coliseum? That's where the, the last case took place. Hey, that's where the governor's concert was. Yeah, exactly. Only three more days until miracles happen here, right before your unbelieving eyes. The legendary Troop Grammary is performing for the first time in not five, not six, but seven years. That's going to be great. I'm so there. You and Daddy are coming too. The legendary Grammaries. If Tristan's real father was still alive, he'd be on that stage performing miracles. I got the tickets and everything. Here's yours, Apollo. Magic show ticket received. Ticket to the premiere showing of a grand illusion by the magician Valent Grammary. Squeak! Ah, you are here. Working hard on or hardly working. Is this Clavier or... Or, um, Phoenix? Hey, it's Phoenix. Hey, how have you been? Hi there, stranger. 
Not exactly the kind of greeting I want to hear from my own kid. Though he has been gone a long time. Ha ha ha. How goes it, Trucy? Here, I got a present for you. Yay! Pudding! I love pudding! Oh, it's it's farm fresh! And not just one pudding, but the whole, three old cups? I'll have to pace myself. Well, I'm beat. That's right, Daddy. You're on a top secret mission. You gotta take it easy with the secrets, you know. Ha ha ha. How right you are. So, you still can't tell us- uh, Um, so you still can't tell us what your mission is? Hmm. Maybe it is time. It has something to do with you anyway. Oh, really? Huh? With me? Oh, maybe you're getting a uh, top secret mission too? Maybe you could be one of those guys? A spy? Can I just be a defense attorney once for once? Ha ha ha. To be honest, telling you about the mission was my whole reason for coming here today. What? Tell me. You've heard of the jurist system, yes? Uh, what? The jurist system? That's right. The new legal system everyone's talking about is, is are we getting a jury instead of a uh, judge? Have you heard of it, Apollo? Huh? Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, maybe not as many people are talking about it as I thought. The jury system, huh? Oh, we can look around now. I always start with looking around. Even though a lot of it is repeat. You never know. That magician of the photo, is that your... My real daddy, yup. Zach Grammary. He disappeared when I was little. I hung that up there so I wouldn't forget what he looked like. I see. She's smiling, but I'll bet that smile doesn't go very deep. Aww. No one's practicing the piano, as usual. Even calling him a pianist is an insult to pianists everywhere. Okay, Apollo, I'm going to guess what you're thinking right now. Huh? What? What was I making a funny face or something? Ark, I'm so hungry. I'm right, right? Of course I am. Ah, there's no of course about it. You guessed wrong, but I wouldn't mind some pudding. Besides, that's not what I'm thinking. It's what you're thinking. Ack, how did you do that? You read my mind, Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, at least you got that pudding. That's right. Try not to eat my share, will you? A plate of plastic spaghetti for displaying in a shop. Where the heck does she get this stuff? Wanna have a go at that ring, Apollo? No, no, I was just touching it. Come on, there's no need to be shy. Just slip it on. There. Ouch! You're way too tense. You gotta loosen up there. The human body wasn't meant to bend like that! <laughs> I can't believe you're using this cutting a person apart box as shelf space. You know, I used that trick on stage the other night. Imagine my surprise when I pull one of my shirts out of the box. <laughs> you should really examine your props before the show. Hi, Charlie. The plant. It intrigues you, doesn't it? Not really. It's just the only thing in here that doesn't have some secret function. Ha ha ha. No. No secrets. But lots of memories. And a name, too. Want to hear it? Not really. His name is Charlie, if you were curious. Really? I wasn't! That hat. Is that a spare? It looks exactly like the ones you always wear. That's the first rule of a professional. Be prepared. You know, I put on that the other day, and this strange white substance fell all over me. It was like magic. Or like fingerprint powder? <laughs> oh, careful there, Apollo. A lot of people run into that table, you know? Why, some client knocked the pot clean over the other day. Um, why not get a more sturdy table? Hmm, maybe the table is partially to blame? There's no baby to this. That thing is a death trap. Ah, those legal books were left by my mentor. Too bad I gave up the practice before reading them. Are those the same books from the original trilogy? There's... There's quite a few magic books in there too, you know. Ah, ha ha. Those would be truces. She'll remember they're there eventually, I'm sure. For a moment, I thought Mr. Wright might do magic too. A scary thought. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Anything else? No? Alright. Ah, uh, presenting, are we? I did my fair share of that back in the day. I showed my attorney's badge a lot, too. He may look cool and calm now, but you should have seen him before. Ha ha ha. You know me too well, Trucy. I'm glad I provided this opportunity for a little family bonding. Oh. Looks like that's the same. Alright. Talk. The jury system. So, Daddy, what's this jury system thing? Well, Trucy, do you know what a jury is? I've heard of it. Isn't that those people who sit in the court in those old courtroom dramas? The ones who get to decide if a guy's innocent or guilty? Do you know Apollo? Only from TV. It's 12 people chosen for the committee, right? Well, they're thinking about reviving that system. They're calling the new system the Juris System. No more doing whatever you like, Your Honor. Not quite that harsh. The jurors cooperate with the judge. They help analyze the case from different angles. Ah, and there will only be, uh, only six of them under the current proposal, right? <gasps> oh my god, that's what Ringo Bell meant when he said six in, uh, in the episode of Bravely Default. We understand that they're merging the giant crossover between Bravely Default and Phoenix Wright. Okay, like 2% of my audience may get that because I watch Bravely Default. Anyway! Wow, you know yourself, Apollo? Their findings directly affect the verdict. Hopefully, people will start taking the courts a little more seriously now. I feel like I'm on some kind of educational TV show. Sorry, Dr. Wright. Ha uh ha. -huh. Dr. Wright is assistant to see. And mascot, Apollo. The perfect team. Hey, I'm not a mascot! Mascot? Hey, exactly! I like when the protagonists are on the same page. The secret mission. So, uh, what is the secret mission? The jurist system is my mission, more or less. Anyway, keep in mind that new ideas like this system are always risky, Apollo. Too true. Everyone's got an opinion, and they just talk and talk, and nothing gets decided. Kind of like you, Apollo. Uh, I'm not that bad, am I? In any case, we're going to give it a shot. A test, if you will. I don't like tests. We'll take your case as a simple and true six jurist. I'll be the one helping with the process, incidentally. Helping? How? Well, for one, I'll be chair of the Jurist System Simulated Court Committee. The chair constructs the ideal simulation, choosing the case, the jurors, candidates, even the judge, and the courtroom. Wow, it's like you have a real job. I was never that good at the piano, to be honest. What's a lawyer? Always a lawyer, I guess. The trial's tomorrow, by the way. Don't miss it. The trial simulation, that is. A simulation, huh? Sounds interesting. So, uh, what kind of case is the trial simulation about? Well, since it is the first run-through of a new system, I wanted something simple. Good thinking. No sense wearing yourself out of something too serious. True. The case is a murder. That's not simple at all! By simple, did you mean that the defendant is... Guilty. Yes. Most likely. So, good luck, Apollo. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Um, with what? With the trial tomorrow. You're defending, of course. Wait, I'm defending a guilty client who I know is guilty? Recall that I said it had something to do with you. Go for it, Apollo. It's just a test case anyway. No sweat. Yeah, but there's still a verdict to be decided. And a potentially serious sentence. The most serious and a worst case scenario. Ack! You mean the verdict's for real? That's not a test trial. That's a real trial. All the forms have been filed. There's no turning back now. The trial begins tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hope you can make room in, in your schedule. Why am I only hearing about this now? 
I don't even know who the defendant is. Ah, uh, yes. There was a change this morning. I picked a new case. Eh? Something that happened last night. Last night? What? Oh, by the way, I should probably look at this. $70. Wow. It was open at 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. One of the two. Are you ready, Apollo? Ready? For what? For what? For the Troop Grammarly Grand Magic Show. It's not like I'm getting up on stage or anything. What are you talking about, Apollo? You can't enjoy magic if you're not part of what's going on upstage. I'll lend you my spare costume if you need one. Huh? Wait, you mean I, I can't go on this? No. It doesn't get more straightforward than that. Ballot Grammarly. Yay, hey, Apollo, I know you're all excited about that secret mission. But what about this? The true Grammarly Grand Magic Show. Huh? Oh, right, the card tricks. They're not card tricks. The grand illusions, miracles, the apocalypse, heaven and earth will shake. So what, that's three whole days from now. It's that Sunshine Coliseum, let's go, let's go today. We can say hi to Uncle Valent. Have fun. What? I can't go by myself. You know I'm not very outgoing. Yeah, right, exactly. Why not go with her? What, what about the secret mission? Oh, don't worry about that. You'll hear all about it tomorrow, regardless. I don't trust that smile. He knows something that he's not telling me. Yippee! Now you can take me to the Coliseum. Uh, I suppose I want to kill me to pop over there. Ah, Grimmery. That reminds me. What is that? What's this, Daddy? Is it that silk hat the Grimmery seal? Consider it a birthday present, Trucy. Thanks, it's great. But... Today isn't my birthday. Hmm, good point. What day is it today, Apollo? Huh? Today? Um, I think it's a Recycle Your Plastics Day. Then it's a Recycle Your Plastics present. Yippee! So it's plastic. I've given up trying to understand them. It's much easier that way. So what is it? Can I open it, Daddy? No. Huh? You'll need that envelope someday. Someday soon. Don't open it until then. Huh? Is it like the fortune cookie that Lone Star got from yogurt? And he has to, and he knows like the right time when to open up the, the cookie? Well, why didn't you just hold it onto it till then? Because that would be the logical thing to do. Grammy envelope obtained. Envelope from Mr. Right, do not open until the time is right. Of course, I immediately want to try to open it. I want that seal. Ah, oh, looky here, a handwritten signature. It says, I can't read it. <laughs> that seems odd to me. I mean, isn't this signature intended to show ownership? What's the use if no one can read it? Is it enough if you can read your own? Oh, I never thought of it that way. An envelope about the Grammys, huh? Hmm. Uh, the trial simulation. Alright, so what case are you going to use? You really want to know, don't you? Of course. Of course I do. I mean, I'm going to be defending, aren't I? It all goes well. Then yes. Of course, this is just a test. We wanted everyone to start without preconceptions. A blank slate, as it were. There's a difference between having a blank slate and just totally being curious. Clueless. Whose dumb idea was it anyway? Well, mine. Committee chair, remember? Oh. Well, if you want to know that badly, I suppose. I could give you permission to examine the scene of the crime. Good, that's better. But you can't talk to anyone involved with the case. What? Well then how am I supposed to defend? You let me worry about the details there. Remember, I'm in charge of this trial. All of it. But you don't want it to backfire, do you? Apollo. If I'm in charge of the whole trial, that means the entire affair is my responsibility, for good or for bad. Ah! Just do what you can. And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. 
All right. I'd recommend going down to the detention center. Your client's waiting for you. You can ask about the scene there. But you just said I could talk to anyone involved. I know, I was just thinking that. Oh, you could talk to your client. If you could get her to talk. Well, time's a wasting. Who is her? Nothing with that. You know I had to try. I want to go to the Sunshine Coliseum first. October 7th, Sunshine Coliseum. Woohoo! This is it, Apollo! The, ma the place where magic and dreams converge. Just a while ago, it was a place where murder and nightmares converged. Let's go say hi to Uncle Valent. What about the case? Whoa, ha 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 Okay, who's laughing? Only a performer laughs like that? Ah, here he is. The young Mr. C! How often I hope we meet again, only to tell myself it was an impossible dream! T, Uncle Valent, how's it going? I'm glad to see you too. Of course you are! Humility is definitely not one of his stronger traits. Well, Mr. C, how does the day find you? If you've come to give me flowers, do it after the show, I beg you! Actually, we came to wish you good luck. And congratulations on your big magic show. Oh, but did I who wish to congratulate you? Not everyone is so lucky as to witness miracles, such as the one I've looked before. Yeah, yeah, you're amazing, we get the picture. The world watch in wonderment as magnificent auditions are being born. Here on stage, by my hand. I, I like the magic show sign and oh, bunch, bunch of magic shows in here. Oh my goodness, he's got a blimp with his face on it. Or with his seal on it. Look, Apollo, a balloon, a hot air balloon. With the Grammarie seal on it, no less. Well, this is a long way to revival, after all. It has been seven years, you know. I spent plenty of time and a plenty of money on the bubble shed. How was your success, Uncle Valent? Oh, I definitely it to be nothing less, I assure you. The most sheep sure excited about it. I guess it's a big deal for magicians. You know, I thought this at the time of the Gavinier's concert too, but... This costume is just way too big. It's huge. It's a big sounding name too. Such a Coliseum, was it? Ah ha 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 ha! Would you like to hear what the grand finale of the show in three days will be? What? Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the grand finale will be nothing other than. Don't tell me you're going to make the Coliseum disappear, right? Ah! Oh, oops! Looks like I was right. <laughs> Apollo, I can't believe you used your power perception on someone like this. It was just a wild guess, really. That's actually what you're doing? Wow, that's cool. Hey, that creature there. He was sending up balloons during our last case, too. He's not a creature, Apollo? Poor guy? Oh, sorry. Was I mean somehow? You know how hot it is inside on one of those suits? He's stuck in there with only the smell of his own sweat to keep him company. Ew. On the verge of passing out, he hands out each balloon as though it was his last. Kind of takes some fun out of seeing the blue badger. They changed the sign since our last case. It was all governors back then, wasn't it? I hope nothing bizarre and mysterious happens at this time. But it's chill. Why, the show itself will be bizarre and mysterious. I assure you. I don't have a problem with mystery, as long as it's legal. I don't think lawyers and magicians were really meant to have conversations like this. <laughs> ah, anything else? Anything, 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 anything. Ah, ha 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 ha! A challenge, is it? You want me to make that item disappear? Very well, give it to me! Ah, no, 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 thanks! Are all magicians like this? Paulo, what was that look just now? I was just thinking how hard it is to get any information out of a magician. Since we found the fail safe. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about this. 
Ha ha! What a bear is the Grimmin Seal! Hmm. Ah. Uncle Valent, is something wrong? To see, where did you get this? Huh? Um, Daddy gave it to me. Why? You're. You, 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 Daddy, big Grimmin! No, 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 my other daddy, Phoenix Wright. Why now? Why would you lower daddy? Lord Daddy? That's kind of stretching the whole archaic thing a bit. This signature upon the back, do you recognize it? That belongs to none other than Zack Grimmini! What? Daddy signed this? But to be so bold as to open it. I I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. Hmm, <laughs> What's in this envelope, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. The big magic shell. Everyone's talking about the big magic shell. Is it true that the Grimmery miracles back after a seven year absence? Miss Tusi, I must apologize. This show and this honor should have been his. Daddy. My co-magician in training Zach Grimmery. That terrible thing had it. It's okay. Your father was a great magician to see. If you were alive, then I, Father Grimmery, would have been proud to stand upon the stage as his assistant. Thanks, Uncle Valent. You know, I'm happy you're doing this show. To think we get to see the great Magnificence illusions again. She really is looking forward to this, isn't she? Magnify Grimmity. My mentor, the Magnificent Magnify Grimmify, was a true deity among magicians. A created god who gave birth to magic illusions that defied our very imaginations. I was so little when I last saw one, but still remember his shows. He did wheelies and sports car through the air above the audience, and then sped off to outer space faster than the speed of sound. I'm guessing that memory was a bit embellished. For seven long years, the world has been waiting for a miracle to match his. As heir to the Grand Marine Tomb Secrets, it falls for me to provide one. It is my God given destiny. Um. Yes, you name this face who speaks with the name of this vast is. How can I help you? If the world was waiting, why did you hold off for seven long years? Hmm, it appears the lad is uninformed. Perhaps you have heard of the magic known as law which governs our land. I have, though I'm not sure it qualifies as magic. It has something to do with a, um, what is it called? Uh, what is, what is that word called when... When he committed a crime, and you have X amount of time to be charged for that crime. Otherwise, uh, you can't be charged for it anymore. The performance of Magnifies Medica was impossible. A certain law prevented it for seven years, but no more! Seven years? That phrase sure likes to pop up, doesn't it? And why was that? A little matter called performance rights was to see. Hmm. So like, um... So like when a, when a book or something goes into public domain, you know, it has X amount of time. Performance rights. Can you tell us about these performance rights? Magnifies magic, relied on an incredible innovative idea, a trick if you will. That trick was considered property, and as such, was protected by property laws. Intellectual property, maybe? Magnify knew this and bequeathed it in his will. To one person. You mean him? Zack? Yes, Mr. C, it was your father. Zack Grimmery was the inheritor of the Grimmery Medical. Daddy. Yet, as you will know, he is gone. He disappeared suddenly seven years ago. I think I see where this story is going. Once a person is classified, once a person is classified missing for a certain period of time, they're considered legally deceased, correct? In all absoluteness, those other seeds consider your company as well, young man. That certain period of time of which you speak. Seven years. Ah. Uh, yes, Mr. C. Though it pays you to say it. This past ring, April would to be precise, was the time. Your father was legally declared deceased. In the absence of a formal will, 
The secrets of our mighty magnify passed to me. That was, in fact, stipulated by the will of the magnify himself. Is that how it works, Apollo? Uh, yeah, it's called death in absentia. He's declared missing permanently. Daddy. All right, well, let's move out. Who is our defendant? I mean, who is our defense E? Is the right word defendant? Um, I, I, I'm losing, I'm losing my mind trying to think of this. Uh, the, the person who's been accused of something. Anyway, October 7th, detention center visitor room. So it came up in, a, in April and it was, and it's been that many months since, huh? All the dots. That's 20 minutes we've been waiting here. 20 minutes. Maybe I should complain. I'm sure that guard has better things to do than stand here pretending he doesn't see us. <laughs> you know the minute we get angry, the client will show. It always works that way. The client. There we go. Like shouting, oh waiter, and they're standing right behind you. Oh guard. Is our client going to be much longer? What are you talking about? Haven't you already started the meeting yet? Huh? Uh, hello? Eek! Where'd you come from? Uh, well, anyway, please have a seat. Who are you? It's all the dots. I'm nervous, Apollo. It's the silence. It builds suspense. Why don't you do something, Trucy? You're a magician, aren't you? Th that's right. Okay. Mr. Hat! Hey! I love Mr. Hat. I'm the amazing Mr. Hit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> eek, she passed out. Hmm. Miss Magic Underwear might have been a better bet. That's Magic Panties, Apollo. Who is she and what's her deal? The security camera stares down from the ceiling, all seeing, I'm blinking. Not that I'm nervous or anything. The same old security guard is glaring at us. He winked. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Hey, we got an emotion out of him. He's not actually dead. I always thought the guy was just dead. <laughs> Um, see this here? Jeez. Um, does it ring any bells? Nothing. Does anything I say ring anything? Now I know what Phoenix meant by making her talk. Introductions. Um, uh, hi! Well, I'm your defense, um... I, I really think it has to be fate, you know. And by fate, I mean destiny. Did you know I'm good with our astrology? Tell me, what's your sign? Just all the dots. I can tell you mine if you'd like, Apollo. No, never mind. I just got carried away there. I seem destined to get difficult clients, it seems. Your name? Um, so, what's your name? Oh, right. I'm supposed to introduce myself first. I'm Apollo, Apollo Justice. Jeez. And I'm Trucy Wright. I know, this is getting nowhere fast. The case. Hey, I know, maybe you can tell us what happened. I'm a defense attorney after all. Yeah, nothing. Um, anything out of the ordinary happened? You know, giant pizza boxes falling in the sky or something like that? Well, the other day this tourist from out of town stopped to ask me directions. Later, Trucy. Come on, I'm trying to get... Try to talk to her. I feel like I need to ask my directions myself here. Well, that was fruitless. Though I think I understand despair a little bit better now. Boop, 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 boop. You did good, Apollo. Uh, huh? All those silver handed dots? Look, she's doing her nails. 
What? Our nails more important than defense? Is that it? Let's go, Tracy. Okay, that was useless. Excuse me. Oh, did she talk? C could you, could you read this? Um, sure. I feel like a teenager on a first date. And this is the love letter we passed from desk to desk at school. Stop looking so wistful and read it, Apollo. Vera Misham. It's a business card with a name and an address. The name is Vera Misham. Or Misham. The address is for Drew Studio. Vera's card adds to the court record. If it is for this card, the address for Drew Studio is on front. And you're giving me this card because? Uh, I guess she wants me to go there. Is she faint again? Well, it looks like we're finished here. I wonder if Drew Studio is the scene of the crime. Let's go find out. Wow. Look at this place. October 7th, Drew Studio. Oh, it's Starry Night in the, uh, the corner. I know it's not actually Starry Night, but it's got the same, um, the, 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 the same swirls on the top left. Wow, this looks like, it looks like it, a studio. It look, if light, it's like life imitating art, or maybe it's the other way around, hmm? But the tape on the ground there, it's a bit jarring. Yeah, looks like we found a crime scene. Apollo, look at all those paintings. Hey, don't touch those. It's okay, I'm just looking. Giant puffer fish. A lot, I mean, there's so many different types of art here. It doesn't look like one style. And I'm not an art expert. So, what do I know? But it doesn't look like it. Huh, Apollo, look at this one. Looks half finished. You can still see the rough sketch underneath. But that's odd. The rough part doesn't look like the rest of the painting at all. Yeah, good point. That is odd. Okay, I can do music, but I can't do art. So if they expect to be an art expert, then I am so screwed on this case. Drew Misham's painting added to the court record. All the paintings have a really different style too. Yeah, that, I did say that. Ah, I thought I might find you two here. Oh, it's Ima! What's up? Ima, long time no see. Oh, seems like I run into you far too often. I bet you I know why you're here too. You know about the trial simulation tomorrow? I've heard about it, sure. So Mr. Wright chose you, huh? Oh, we don't even know what the case is about. Well, he was killed. The artist who owns the studio, that is. Mr. Drew Misham. Oh man, he's got pain all over himself. Misham? And his daughter was put under arrest. Yeah, yeah, we just saw her at the detention center. Oh, okay, that's who she was. It was funny though. She seemed more like a victim than the kind of person who could commit murder. You don't say. Not even by poisoning. That's how it was done, you know. Poisoning is a common way to get the job done when the murder is a woman. Yeah, what's that old saying? Uh, poison is a woman's... Um, what's that saying? I, I think it was said in Game of Thrones a lot. Uh, poison is a woman's weapon. That was it. Poison is a woman's weapon. Who said that? Um has been historically touted as a woman's weapon. For example, in 1945 movie, Pursuit to Algiers, Sherlock Holmes says it is so, as does Grandmaster Pycelle, an objectively horrible person in George R.R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones. So, uh, Sherlock Holmes said it, and then Grandmaster Pycelle said it. Okay. Cool. So, it wasn't just in Game of Thrones, it was also, um, it was also from a Sherlock Holmes, uh, movie. Maybe even a book, even. I don't know. A poisoning? Anyway, Mr. Wright told me that you'd be coming. Feel free to take a look around. I'll just be over here with my stickers. Can't talk to anyone related to cases time around. Which means we better find out as much as we can here at the scene. Or else. Alright, I'm gonna do my what I always do. Exam first, present, and then talk. Hey, there's a painting hidden back here. Hey, you're right. 
What if it's embarrassing somehow and you didn't want anyone to see it? You suddenly seem pleased by the possibility. Huh? It's so normal. It looks like the other one. Except this one's finished. That's probably something to get mad about. Huh? Huh? What is it, Apollo? Well, does this painting look like... Never mind. Huh? Why do they do that? Why do they stop you like that? I better get a professional opinion on this. A hidden painting added to the court record. Find it to a studio notable for the large plum in the background. Or the foreground. Just a little bit different background, foreground, eh. Is that a giant mustache on the cup? Ah, that's a basic coffee mug. Aha, so the poison was in here? This is my first time seeing a real poison mug of coffee. I would hope so. Ah, uh, poison coffee. Not exactly, actually. What do you mean? No, this is a poison. I found in the coffee. What? You'll have to figure out the rest of yourself. I'm officially not on your side at all. I wonder if she's, uh, gonna be the prosecutor. Nah, probably Clavier, right? The victim's laugh crust coffee. The side of the cup reads Miss Sham. I'll go look at all the evidence later once we, you know, search through everything. I imagine this coffee cup was for guests to use. Guests? Did the police already analyze this cup too? That to choose the poison was found on the cup. So the killer was so the killer was out to do Mission Malone. That letterbox looks funny sitting inside a room like this. Let's take a look. Empty. The other half of that letterbox is actually connected to the outside of the studio. The submission book put these letters in there. And the postboy took them in away. Impressive that someone still writes letters in this day and age? Or wrote, rather. Well, I mean, you were impressed by a flat screen TV, so. I wouldn't mind taking a closer look at those paintings. I just love oils. You know how they're so thick? Is that the word? These paints aren't all are all dry. I'm just surprised at how different they all are. Yeah, that painting there. Yeah, and what's going on with this half-finished one? It must have been a work in progress. You can still see the rough sketch below. That's what's so weird. The sketch part doesn't really fit the finished parts. I noticed. That is weird. Eek, Apollo! That that's where the body was! That's the spot where Mr. Dude Mission passed away. He put the coffee back to his lips in the next moment. That's... There's quite a bit of paint on the ground. See that half painted painting there? He must have been working on that right up to the moment he died. Wow, a true artist in the end? Or maybe he started it a year ago and was procrastinating. I think that may be everything. Ima, I was wondering if you could take a look at this. Look, I'm a detective. A detective. You can't just ask me any old thing and expect an answer, okay? I think I need to be a little more focused on your inquiries. Scientific, even. Somehow I knew she'd get around to science. Or science! Okay, so we know what her fail is. Only a couple lines, not so bad. I kind of wish they would make it so after you fail once, it would... Wait, that looks different. Hold on. Ima, about this painting. Oh, that. Quite good, isn't it? I kind of wish, like I said, um... Like, if you fail, it would just cut off, like, here. Where she says, look, I'm a detective, a detective. You know what I mean? Er, uh, that's not what I want to ask you about. You want to examine it, is that it? I'd be happy to let you if you had a good reason. But without that, sorry. I guess she wants us to do a little footwork on our own first. And it looks like all the paintings are probably gonna see that. I am reading this as I skip it just to make sure. Oh, Emma, I was wondering about this painting here. Ah, ah! That one, what about it? What about it? Yeah, what about it, Apollo? Take a closer look at it, both of you. 
Now, look at this one. This is the third painting he was working on. Hey, they're the same. I was hoping you wouldn't find that. You're right, though. Your mission was copying this painting. Wow, it's pretty good. Copying a painting? What for? So, Ima, about this coffee mug. I hope you are trying to cover me for information. You know I'm not talking. I suppose you are the detective here. Why did you two take a look for yourselves? If you find a clue, I might not be willing to un I might not be unwilling to lend a hand. I think she's going to help us, Apollo. Let's check out this mug, shall we? Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to I meant to examine it, but I'm I'm on the wrong page. So hold on, hold on. Hey, look there! That stain doesn't look so healthy, Apollo. That must be the Blue Mountain stuff we've been hearing about. Blue Mountain? Somebody tells me that Blue Mountain coffee isn't this blue. No, this stain is probably... Hmm, better ask Ima. Okay. That's what it says, Misham. Misham. That's weird. A piece of evidence that I can manipulate, but... Oh, I was about to say, there's nothing here. Hey, Apollo, this painting, I know it. Huh, really? It's that story where the old woman is through washing the river, and this giant peach comes up floating on down? That might possibly be the strangest thing I've ever heard. Pretty sure we see Stranger in our universe. Apollo, look at this painting. You can see the rough sketch. Oh, looks like it was only half completed. Oh, huh, that's funny. Do the rough sketch and the finished painting look totally different to you too? Ah, oh, they do actually. What's that all about? Hmm. Pretty sure one of these paintings like come off and there's something hidden underneath. Is that a puffer fish? Apollo, that's clearly a porcupine fish. Huh? They're not the same thing? You know what gets me? So we got all these needles, right? But what's protecting that soft spot in the lower belly there? Nothing. Must remember to keep Juicy away from small round fish. Well, what do we have here? It looks like a person, thinking about something. Maybe they're worried? Like, what should I have for supper? A hot dog or a hamburger? I had a hamburger tonight. It was very good. Uh, you know, I've always wondered about that. Why is there supper and dinner? Are they different meals or the same thing? Maybe that's what this person's thinking about. What a pretty business card. Looks like a postcard almost. And on the back, hmm, just her name. That seems odd to me. Huh, what does? Why write your name on the front and back of the card? Why not use the space on the back for a self-portrait or a character? Then, then people would remember what you look like too. That's not a bad idea, actually. Here, give me one of your cards, Apollo. Ah, uh, she's drawing something. Hey, my hair's not that spiky. <laughs> All right, talk. The victim. So this um Drew Misham was some kind of artist. Apparently, did a lot of illustrations for books. I right hear. Had a lot of female fans too. For what it's worth. Oh well, I guess this stuff is kind of pretty. Like that oil painting over there, for instance. Um, yeah. That wasn't one of his illustrations, actually. Huh? So was it standalone painting or something? Is that what she means? He was an odd bird, Misham. How did you say to anyone until the end? What do you mean, to anyone? He was always locked up here in the studio, apparently. His only connection to the outside world was through the letters he put in that letterbox there. Letters? Do people still write letters? What do you mean, Apollo? 
I mean, when was the last time you wrote a real letter? Don't most people use email and stuff these days? Not Mr. Bishop. Could it say technology, it seems. He did everything by mail. Maybe he thought that way was more artistic, you know? I'd have to the court record. In any case, the only person besides him allowed in here was his daughter, Veda. Oh, you mean the killer? Trucy! The suspect, please. We took some fingerprints, of course. The only ones found in the room were Mr. Bishop's and Veda's, basically. Basically? Actually, last night, Mr. Bishop gave an interview to a reporter for the first time. It happened during the interview, apparently. His first interview ever? Could you tell us could you tell us a bit more about what happened on the night of the murder? Hold on, I wanna I wanna go back and present this to see if she says anything different. Um Emma about this mug. There's a pale blue uh residue on the rim. Eh? Ah, the that. Yes, well, it's just a rumor. But I've heard there's a kind of coffee called Blue Mountain. I'm pretty sure it is actually blue, Emma. Ah, right. Okay, you got me. That's left over from my testing spray. Really? Forensic science? I knew your hobby was behind this somehow, Emma. It's not a hobby. So what kind of scientific study were you up to? This spray. That's what. It turns blue when it touches poison. So it's sort of like luminol except for poison instead of blood. So the poison that killed the victim was on the smug? That's right. See? It wasn't at the coffee. The killer applied it to the rim of the rug itself. Wow, science is amazing. It certainly is helpful. Maybe Ema would be willing to help us out a bit more. You should try buttering it up, Apollo. They say flattery will get you everywhere. It certainly will talk to her a bit more. Ema, I was wondering, okay. I, I wanna look at that too. Can't look at it, okay. The defendant. So, this woman, Vera. She's Mr. Mr. Sutter, right? Yep, a real sickly girl, ever since she was little. How they ever went outside? She did kind of give off a withdrawn sort of aura. She was homeschooled by her father, apparently. It was quite a scene when they took her to the detention center. She was screaming about how she'd die if they took her outside. That does sound like a zine. In the end, she agreed to leave if she was allowed to have good luck charm for company. Her good luck charm? Apparently, she has this charm that magically gives her the courage to go outside. Why can't I ever get a normal client? But why would a shut-in daughter kill her own dad? Don't look at me. So about the poison, it was found to be in his coffee, right? No, not precisely. Not precisely? What does that mean? It means see for yourself, I think. The night of the crime. Like I said, last night was the first time someone from the outside came into the studio. I guess mysterious painters who never go outside make for good articles. And it just so happened that he died the night of his first interview. At around 9 p.m. every night, Bear always made him a cup of coffee. Last night, he drank his usual coffee and suddenly became violently ill. And... and he died? She poisoned him on the night of his interview? Wanted the reporter see? He wasn't near Mr. Mission when she brought the father his coffee. He was checking out some equipment in the back of the room. Wait, there's another part of this room? Supposedly, that's why she didn't notice he was there. It was the reporter who called the police, in fact. Wait, but why is she the suspect? If anyone's suspicious, it's a reporter. Yet the reporter never got near Mr. Bishop's coffee. Even Vera acknowledges that. Regardless, I want to know more about this reporter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's another part to this room? I totally missed this giant arrow over here. How the heck did I miss that? Hello. Look at all these paints, Apollo. There's so many. He's got like 20 kinds of red. We could repaint your suit, Apollo. How about this shade of green? I, I like green. That'll be enough of that, thanks. It's gotta be the right tint of green, like cyan. Let's take a closer look at this desk here. So this is Drew Misham? And this little girl must be Vera? 
Yes, they did. They took that some time ago. They're that close. I hope they're the family. I tell you, arrested his daughter. That is. Ack. Look, I was supposed to get set, okay? She just didn't seem very suspicious, scientifically speaking. Uh huh. Right. Hmm. Something about the way that figure is posed. I've seen that pose before. It's you, Apollo. See, I'm making one of your flamboyant gestures. Objection! Please, I am a professional. I wonder why it's posed like that, though. Coincidence? Pointing at something that's hidden to the right? Is this a journal? Wow, talk about a clue. Let's read it. Ah! Uh, what is it, Apollo? He didn't write the name of the killer, did he? It's new. He didn't write a single line. Ark, you have me going for a while there. Hey, Apollo, what's this feather thingy? Isn't that a pen? Like an old-fashioned quill pen? But it doesn't have a pointy end. That was most likely for sweeping detritus de off the desk. Wow, you sure know a lot, Ima. Bold and scientific. That's my motto. Exactly what about that was bold or scientific? This envelope has been opened and resealed. Oh, I know how to do that. You take a pot of boiling water and hold the envelope up to the steam. The glue melts and it opens. Cool, huh? Whoever did this wasn't so delicate. You're right. Looks like they just ripped it open and stuck it back together. Huh? The postmark on this letter is from seven years ago. Seven again. Why would someone open a letter, then seal it again? Hmm. I better hang on to this. Red envelope added to the court record. Found in the victim's escrow. Appears to have been opened once and resealed. What is all this equipment here for? It doesn't look very artistic, really. He had everything from a lot to a laser cutter. Looks like he was ready to work on metals of wood, too. Though his equipment's a bit old, to tell the truth. Why would a painter need all this? From the dust, I'd say he hasn't used his stuff for years. This corner doesn't fit with the rest of the studio. Oh, do you think I could borrow this? I want to cut a quarter in half to make a trick coin. This is a crime scene, Trusy. But the cost is like 50 bucks at the magic shop. I feel for you, but it's a crime scene. Is this a desk for painting, Apollo? That would be a drafted table. Drafting? Basically, it's a tool for making precise diagrams. Wow, painting is harder than I thought. Why would a painter need a drafted table? Was he an architect too? He's a regular old Michelangelo. Oh, look, it's been open once here. You're right. I wonder if there's somewhere we can see what's inside. Should I try to get it open and suck it, stick it back shut? Let's not take more the evidence, shall we? I've got a better idea. Ima, let's ask her. Ima, about this. Oh, the that. Yes, why, that's a bright red envelope. She sure is jumpy. Someone opened this, didn't they? Huh. My lips are sealed. What does that mean? Your lips are sealed? That's a first? You mean, you know what's inside the envelope? Sure, I've read it at all. Ah, you mean you were the one who ripped this open? Ha, please, I would have sealed it open. But you did sneak a peek at it, apparently. Now that I have a powerful weapon on my side. Weapon? Yes, the use of tools. Highly specialized tools for information gathering. Tools I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. You should try flattering her, Apollo. Yes, a little praise can open big doors. Got that one. All right, that one, but it's good advice. Let's try talking to her some more. Forensic science. I bet Emma could help. Emma could help us out with here. Don't forget, flattery will get you everywhere with her, Apollo. Huh? What are you two whispering about? Well, I was thinking. 
I mean, what is it we always do when we run into you at a crime scene? What is it we always do, scientifically? Ah, you know me too well. Okay. Okay, meaning we can get Erm um, scientific now? Oh, I suppose. Just as what? Bring me anything find suspicious, and we'll check it out. Okay, now do I have to do this again? Ema, about this. Oh, the that. Yes, that's a bright big envelope. So it seems the same. So that one's the same. Look at that smile. I did try firing her. About that envelope we found. I was wondering if you could help us out with that tool you were mentioning. Okay, I just had to skip through everything, I guess. Ah, uh, you want to know about my tool, do you? It's called an x-ray analyzer. X-ray? Like the x-rays you get at a dentist? That's right. At least, that's what I call it. Huh? It has a real name, but it's much more complicated. The x-ray spe spectralization. Something. How am I supposed to remember all of that? So basically, it lets you see inside things, like envelopes? That's right. You're sharp, Tusi. But it's a bit more complicated than that to practice, of course. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm not really sure how it works scientifically. Can I try it out, Ima? Please? Oh, I suppose. Of course, I've already checked out everything suspicious myself. Alright, let's give it a spin, Apollo. Yard! What are you doing? Oh, just seeing if I could see through your hair, but it's like lead. Why didn't they get me anymore and it might fall out? Then I won't need an x-ray machine to see through it. Well, let's just get down to business, shall we? To defeat the Huns. Right, let's test it on the sample first. It's just obvious I have a lottery ticket here. You set the sample and device like so. I don't see anything. Patience, there's no need to get all antsy. Look at the right side of the screen. That's the layer view of the envelope. Layer view? We've got it set to display the outside of the envelope now, see? Actually, it's quicker to just have you give it a try. Turn that dial there with the R's for me, would you? That's right. That's how you choose which ship you want to scan. Hey, I got something. See? That's how you can read the letters on the ticket inside. Cool, huh? Except, I can't read them. Just turn that down a little more. What you have to understand is that a sheet of paper isn't really flat at all. When you zoom in that much, you can see the paper is like a bunch of hills and valleys. Wow, really? This x-ray device uses a beam with a wavelength of only 0.05 microns. It breaks cards down into thin layers, so it can only show what's written on the layer. I'm not entirely following you, but what good is it if you can't read anything? That's where we go on to step two. Try rubbing the image a bit, if you would. Rubbing? Like going over the image with L while holding X? Almost like fingerprinting. There, that fixes the image on the screen. Now, turn the dial again, just a little. Good. Now you can rub this image to fix it too. Hey, I get it. We just keep doing this until we got the whole thing? Exactly. Not bad. Neat. Let's do some more. I can see it now, but for some reason. Oh, I must have missed the lair. Okay, let's put that one out. Lottery number zero 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 seven, big winner. Woohoo, I'm a big winner. Ah ha ha. See, this is the tree to power my weapon. Neat, huh? Now let's try it out on the real thing, shall we? So first, you gotta do this. Then do this. 
That's kind of cool. I like this. Like I said, it's like the fingerprinting. Okay, let's put this one out. Mr. Drew Misham, I deposited the 100,000 in the designated account. Please send a receipt once you come from the transfer. Bill of sale? Someone deposited 100,000 into Mr. Misham's account? His paintings was really valuable. There's another page in there. Can I take a look? You bet I do. If you're going to read someone's mail, you might as well read it all. <laughs> Here goes with the second page then. Like, how do you determine which page to read, though? Like, why don't you only be able to read one? The one that's on top? Sounds like Pac-Man eating little dots. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, let's put this one out. Sign the papers and send a closed envelope with a closed sale within three days. I need you to remind you to speak this of no one. So it was a letter about payment for one of his paintings? Why the secrecy though? And... And what? Why was this letter the only one in here? It's seven years old, right? Maybe it had some special significance to him. Well, Ima? Well, indeed. She knows something she's not telling us. Looks like she's keeping mum about it. Red envelope updated. Filing the victim's desk drawer contains two sheets of writing paper. All right, my friends. Well, my name is the is Bird. This is your Story Base Gaming Channel, and this is a continue blind let's play Ace Attorney Apologist to be mastered for the PS5. Uh, much love to you all. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And I'll see you very soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.